This is your 1994 Mazda MX-5 Miata. What is going on, everybody? It is Mr. Arrow HD here, and we are here! Of course, with Build a Drift to Kill It on this wonderful, wonderful Friday. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Friday. Uh, I sure am, but before we get into it, this song was Amnesia by Moog. If you guys didn't already know that, because now you're just going to comment in... The, all the comments in the fucking comment thing are going to be, Oh my god, Mighty Car Mods! But uh, as usual, links to his iTunes and the Mighty Car Mods channel, if you for some reason don't know who they are, are in the description below. Now, this is something I've done before and I did it again because I want to make it a tradition on Fridays uh, where there is an FD event. If you guys didn't know, uh, Formula Drift Long Beach, the no, not inaugural, that doesn't make sense, the opening round of the 2014 season is this Friday. Um, as... I'm going to try to make it a normal thing, except for Atlanta, because I'll actually be there. Uh, we're going to do uh, a stream session, which is basically we'll be having a live podcast over qualifying and the top 32 Saturday. Um, I don't know when it's going to start. The tentative time right now is 6 p.m. Eastern time, uh, between then and 7 p.m. Eastern time. So basically we'll just have like a black screen on twitch and it'll be me and a couple people uh doing a live podcast and then there'll be a link on screen to go watch the feed um because i've been told that i cannot stream the feed anyways this my new tradition will be recreating as best as i can um 2014 cars that are in formula drift within forza um unfortunately i could not use the nb uh, model Miata, I had or MX-5, I had to use the NA, which is Danny's uh, 2013 car, and it was either do the NB in Forza 4 or do the NA V8 in this, so I chose to do that. Um, basically, this is a LS1-powered Miata. 
and I try to make it as close to the real life build as possible. I think there's two forty fives in the rear. Um, I tried. Uh, apparently, he made seven hundred horsepower on nitrous. I can barely handle the 550 or so that's in here, so I just left it. I, I was way too lazy to look up curb weight. Um, I was hoping and praying it was somewhere around 2,100 pounds. Anyways, this car, if it handles like anything like it does in the game in real life, holy crap, <laughs> how do you drive this thing? Um, basically, when it's cold, when everything is cold and like it's just going out for the first couple things, uh, first couple laps it's all over the place it's really hard to drive but and it's got way too much power for how small these tires are but the more and more i drove it i guess the more i got used to it and this thing's actually pretty fun um it's again it's no art not r32 level um and i know you guys are gonna bitch at me for not putting the four rotor in here but again it's a, like more of a replica build um also i didn't make the paint at all i didn't paint this i completely forgot the guy who painted it uh, but his gamer tag will be in the description below, and I go look it up right after I'm recording this. Uh, really, really sorry that I can't give you a vocal shout out, Mr. Painter guy, but I uh, blame it on me being retired. So just ch check the description. Uh, Dangerous links and stuff are going to be there too. Um, but yeah, this will be the second year I'll, uh, I've been supporting Danny George, and I'm a pretty, pretty big fan. I don't know. I wasn't. I didn't really pay attention in, to him in 20. 12 with his Kickstarter campaign though I really started watching him in 2013 seems like a really awesome guy super 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 good with his fans I've never seen a quote unquote public figure be so uh, fan oriented and that's why I chose uh, Danny George's car to build first here um, it's really awesome dude and this <clears throat> this car is pretty good too I was surprised I thought it was going to be awful and it really sucks that this is the track that it has to be on because this track is shit it's horrible and boring but uh it's yeah no it's it, there's nothing really wrong with how this car drives as soon as you get used to it it's just kind of skittish but everything in forza 5 skittish um as long as you're aware of what you're doing and kind of conscious of, of the moves you're making it's not bad at all it's really fun it's really fun on the longer turns especially you know since this is just basically two fucking long turns um, and the front end kind of gets away from you sometimes because I'm not I guess you're not used to how light it is uh, With the big V8 up front uh, It kind of swings the front all weirdly, but for the most part pretty fun car Actually, probably the best V8 swap car. I have so far even better than the s2000 um, I'm gonna try not to make a lot of V8 swapped cars. I know that's probably getting played out for you guys uh, It's still new to me because I you know haven't really done it in a lot of Forza 5 yet, but um, thank you guys for watching, uh, please tune in this week, and if the stream session is happening, uh, follow me on Twitter, I'll probably be live tweeting it if there is no stream session, um, or I'll be tweeting at the links to, to the, the stream, whatever, just follow me on Twitter, it's fun, the link will be at the end of the video, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, and before I forget, uh, if you guys want to see any Formula Drift replicas, uh, replica builds, please let me know in the description below what cars you'd like to see. Okay, now I'm gone. Thank you and goodbye.